Alright, so this should be the end of Eagle's Peak. It kind of took me a while because I couldn't figure out the puzzle. I kept messing up. But anyways, two quest points, 2500 Hunter, which is pretty good, decent. Ability to capture ferrets, which I guess will be maybe useful in the future. And uh, some treasure hunter keys. So yeah, that puts us up to 34 Hunter. And that's also a requirement that, uh, for the gold mining suit, which I'm kind of going for. There we go, Elemental Workshop 1. This was so much easier than it was on old school. It literally took me like 4 minutes. 5k crafting, 5k smithing, and yeah. So we need to get 50, 50 smithing for um, the next few quests that I'd like to do. So I'm going to try to get it through questing if we can. And 50 we're not too far off of anyways. That one was a little more annoying. I think we just have to make this mind helmet. And we should be done. Elemental Workshop Part 2. 7.5k smithing, so what's that? 49 smithing now, and a bunch of crafting as well, up to 36 crafting. Now, do we actually unlock? Oh, we do unlock at Elemental Workshop Part 3. Maybe. I don't want to talk about that quest ever again. That was literally the most horrible quest I've ever done, but there we go. Elemental Workshop Part 3. Some treasure hunter keys, 50 coal, and XP tome. So, let's see, book of knowledge. Defense or smithing, obviously smithing. And then we'll do smithing again. So there we do go with 50 smithing, um, which is kind of what we were heading for. So now we can do, which quest was it that I was going for? One I needed 50 smithing for, I forget which one it is at this point, I'm tired after that quest. But anyways, uh, Elemental Workshop 4 I don't think we can do, thank god, because I do not feel like doing any more ent Elemental Workshops right now. So yeah, alright, so the next one I'm going to do is Between a Rock, but I think I need 40 mining for that, so I'm going to probably just go to the uh, Kandarin place and mine the iron out here. I only have two levels, so it won't take too long. Um, get 40 mining, and then we'll go tackle that quest, hopefully. So This is kind of cool. This is going to be my first time making these on the account. And these, I believe, store 50, or send 15 items to your bank. So that's pretty awesome, actually. This is one of the main reasons I was going to be making an alt, because these things are so freaking cool for skilling. This should be 40 mining. We actually got a chef's hat from some little imp, so I might need that in the future. But anyways, there we go, 40 mining. And now we should have between a rock. Um, we have all the requirements to go do that now, so we'll probably go do that. Alright, that was an interesting quest. You basically needed this to protect your head. And a guy shot you with a cannon, but yeah, it's one of the ones that I need. So I thought I would have get it done and over with so much i think the rewards are gonna start to get a lot better now like decent like a little bit decent 5k defense 5k mining 5k smithing and oh fuck i just bought a room pickaxe and we're at 101 quest points we passed that 100 mark that is freaking sweet guys oh look at that 41 mining wow we can actually wear a room pickaxe now i guess i'll just add that to the tool belt See, it's already on my tool belt, so that's like a free 20k, thank you. Alright, this should be the end of Shiloh Village. Uh, it was a lot easier on this game, and uh, here we go. Two quest points, 3400 crafting XP, access to the gem mine, and access to Shiloh Village. Which, I basically only did this, so now I have requirements for... Uh, where is it? <laughs> oh, I changed my like quest thing. Fuck off. One small favor. One small favor. Yeah, we have access to one small favor now, so sweet. Okay, so I, I fell down this like eight times on old school. Fucking RuneScape 3. Just use this ability pew, right over the bridge. Okay, guys, so we're going to talk for a little bit. We are in Shiloh Village now. About to do one small favor. I think I have everything I need for it. But we're going to just talk about the future of this account and where I see right now. So I really want the golden mining suit for no apparent reason really. Just to train mining because I'm going to get like 98 mining and then stop. Because I want my first uh, 
cape to be runecrafting, obviously, for AFKable reasons. And then eventually I'm going to get like 20, 30 mil mining and finish my uh, smithing, doing mining in the LRC for free. So I'll have smithing for free. Um, maybe I'll do some corrupted ores in between there, I don't know. But I'd like to just get the golden mining suit because I never had it on my main and I, had a, I have 120 mining so I kind of want to get it on this account. Plus it finishes lots of quests which is eventually for a completionist anyways. Next I'm going to get Artie Cloak 2 and then eventually 3 but while heading for Artie Cloak 2 we'll finish lots of the elf quests at, like Morning's End Part 1, Underground Pass, all that stuff which is leading up to um, getting in Two Plagues End and things like like that and then by then we'll just have wrapped up stats by getting that goal and the other um, plague's end goal and the golden mining suit goal i'll have pretty much decent enough stats to eventually head for finishing plague's end and then finishing within the light i think it's called or the light within something like that um and then i'll have the seren prayers and spells and from there um we're pretty much set to max really we have all the spells to get like really fast wood cutting really fast everything um and then we'll oh i also want to do the quest to grab slayer points and then we can start slayer soon i'm not going to ever touch farming i'm going to use seed aside to do all of my farming like literally all of my farming farming will probably be the last skill on this account i'm not going to uh run trees on an alt account unless it's like herbs or something i highly doubt even i'll do that but i don't want to touch farming but i need to get that 99 obviously and then construction and herb lore will happen on double experience weekends obviously dungeoneering will come from sinkholes and dailies that will be caches um and also eventually on other downtime i'm going to be getting 92 prayer for soul split um so that we can do abyss training we're not going to bother getting 95 for now we're just going to get 92 save a little bit of cash there and um probably do the wilderness method or use my main account's house hopefully i can do the wilderness method though but um yeah so by the time I get my two goals done, I should have all the stats I need for Plague City, or Plague, Plague's End, sorry, finish that up, um, yeah, and then we'll have the Elf City, we'll have the spells, and this account will be gold. <sighs> At last, that should be the end of one large favor, or 20 small favors, um, I've got the red mahogany log you've asked for, um, I always actually thought this was a cool quest, though, it's kind of just like the ideal quest you think quest you think helping people anyways and he gives me the ring which is awesome for keys to have early game obviously gives me some lamps so two quest points the gilded trip to the felt up hills which is cool two rewards giving 10k each which you're going to be using on farming the key ring which is awesome two treasure hunter keys damn so hopefully we can Oh no, you need at least level 30 in the skill. I did this for that, please tell me we can bank them. Shoot, so we can't bank them. So we might end up using them on agility, but I'm gonna see if I can get 30 farming somehow. Well, time to do my RuneScape 3 main daily, so I'm gonna be fletching here for a little bit. Okay, there we go, we just hit 70 runecrafting here AFKing a little bit. Just getting this up slowly, like I said, I eventually want 91, but 70, that's our first 70 overall, so not too bad at all. Alright, I guess I'll use these on agility, which is kind of uh, disappointing. I wanted to use them on farming, but this can get us a shit ton of agility XP. And we have another one right here as well. I just can't use my presets or anything, so it's kind of annoying at this point. Up to 45 agility with 63k bonus, not too bad. We're gonna have to find a way to get farming up though guys this should be a level hopefully it was a pretty good game 91 points i think i got there a minute late so yeah 23,000 xp and up to 57 divination so yeah not bad all right so i thought about ways i could train farming while i was sleeping and i thought bagged plants aren't a bad option they're just a little expensive but um I have a money making method that I'm going to be doing soon, and I'm going to be making tons of money with this account anyways, so bag plants, whatever, um, they're pretty much consistent farming experience, and I can't, like I said, I can't be bothered to train farming on this account, um, mostly going to be doing seed aside, so yeah, it's actually decent farming experience, oh, that was with bonus, oh shit, is it shit XP, but, um, regardless, it's farming XP, so, yeah, we're going to have to get, like, 
use maybe get like 30 farming or something fuck i should have done this and then use my uh, experience lamps but uh let's see how much an oak one gives 140 xp oh that's 70 construction and 70 farming i think oh so we're getting construction experience too not bad and perfect there we go we've uh unlocked forgotten tail which was the 17 farming requirement i think i'm gonna stop here at 18 farming because eventually i'll be getting um a bunch of other quests and shit to do farming we got up to 21 construction so yeah all right so it's time to get 45 mining at least um for granite and then we need to do probably granite to 77 but with these signs of porters, you can bank gems. And for example, like every mine, I get 65 experience plus two to three K per gem. Like it's just, why would you go anywhere else? Like it's a little lower experience than obviously, well, not a little lower, probably a lot lower experience than like drop mining, but you're making two to three K every pickaxe every time you do this. So I always make tons of money here and then bank the granite as well and make tons of money there. I'm getting all the way up to 77. All right, so I stopped at 44 mining um, just cause I had to do cash. So we made about 400 K profit so far. It's not as good as I thought, but like just for a few mining, 17 K mining XP, I gained 400 K. This is actually a decent lower level money making guide, obviously before you hit granite anyways. I think granite can be a little bit more money, but for you could get an onyx as well. Or if you say we're an iron man, this would be a lot of crafting XP, but this is a decent amount of money on the side, obviously. And this, uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just cool to think that you can make money off of low level mining, so if you ever need like a few mil or something and you're low level, get like 50 mining or so there and then you'll be golden. By the way, I just hit 58 divination.